This is a second introductory movie on how to work with uh, lists in LSEC Workspace. Um, LSEC Workspace is one of our new databases. Uh, a in a previous movie I showed you how to use the data stream uh, option to download data for lists of uh, companies, for instance, CEDL lists or lists of ticker codes or ISIN lists like you see before you. Uh, the main thing uh, is that uh, option does not offer uh, yeah, all the options and also some, some variables cannot be downloaded that way. Uh, this is uh, unfortunate, but there's a second way to do this, uh, to download bulk data for lists uh, like the one you see before you. I'll sign in to LSEC Workspace using the software from LSEC Workspace, uh, which is installed on my computer. Uh, I'll need to log into uh, the screen. Let's have a look. And there we go. The first option was available under the data stream uh, uh, application. Uh, once you click that, you could use the data stream formula to use lists uh, of equities like uh, using ISIN codes. The second option, uh, and it's even a better option if you want to download your data for panel data, is the build formula which is on the left side in the ribbon to start working with the new way to create lists of data we select the equities their ISIN code so we can select that then we're looking for a certain variable um, if you looked for it before uh, it sometimes appears here recently used um, we can, for instance, click on this one if we want it, but we can search for it. It searches in the filters. Uh, we add this to the query at the bottom. Then we can indicate some um, parameters and quick functions. Uh, some of them have more than others. Sometimes there's yearly data, sometimes there's quarterly data. In this case, their scores are also uh, with a time series. Uh, so you can select, for instance, a specific date you want. Uh, we can go for, let's say, January 1st, 2021. And we can also indicate uh, an end date. So it's very specific. Let's say we want December 31st. Uh, you can indicate a frequency. Sometimes there's currency options to convert everything to a single currency. So check out what the options are and then uh, make sure to uh, yeah to mark these options then we can go to the left at the bottom uh, there's the layout option and we can also make sure that the data is kind of formatted in a way that we want for instance uh, we can say okay what we want is basically panel data so we need the date and the instrument to be in the rows and the column has to have the data uh, it'll start building a kind of a preview uh, based on the data that we selected. And there's also, also sorting options. When you're done with this option, you, you can uh, click um, the OK button, I guess. We'll do that for now and then insert. And then it'll start uh, downloading the data. As you see here, uh, the data is downloaded the way panel data should be. And um, yeah, this is the alternate way to download bulk data for companies. It can be financial data, environmental data, all kinds of data.